Hello there everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and I'm happy to be bringing you the full review on the Benchmade Mini Grip and this is the 20CV G10 with bright blue liners a beautiful looking knife which we shall look at very shortly but first of all I need to mention the Shock I've had a few people who are obviously new to the channel and didn't know what the Shock meant the Shock is just the distance of a, a, a between countries, over here I use it between Northern Ireland and the mainland, which is England, Scotland and Wales. It's the Irish Sea. It's just a body of water. A shock is something I would call like a wee mucky stream, a creek, just something like that we would call over here. So when I first started the channel, my first international subscribers were uh, American. So I used the shock as a term between the UK and America. And anywhere else, the, there's water between. It's a wee shock. So that's where it comes from. Very simple. Now, this is the Benchmade. I've just gone through it. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run straight through the, the, the dimensions of it. The The weight of it is 80 grams, 2.8 ounces. Not, weighs nothing at all. The spine of the blade is 2.5 millimetres, um, 0.1 of an inch. It is 14 millimetres across the girth of the knife, uh, which is 0.5, just over 0.5 uh, of an inch. Or just over half an inch, you know. It's literally because it's a. Uh, it's actually shaped, unlike most of the other knives around. There's like a, a swell in the center, so I measured across that swell there. Now the length is the full length is seventeen point five centimeters, or seven. Seven and a half inches. And the. Blade length is three inch, just under three inches, which is seven point five centimeters, roughly. So let's tell you a wee bit more about the knife. This is probably one of the easiest knives to to, to fall in love with. It is slight two point eight inches, but you've got a good blade stock. You've got a good point. This is for doing a bit of work. This isn't some wee delicate knife. This can do anything you want on a daily basis. Extremely good. Uh, Sabre grind, not hugely thin behind you. Not going to be the best slicer in the world, but for anything I'm going to do, it'll slice it lovely. Um, Black hardware, as you see, you've got the uh, access lock, which is amazing. It came with a deep pocket carry clip. I changed it to the split arrow because I find it more comfortable in my hand. And I tend to use this in a pinch grip. Now, I can get all my four fingers out and squeeze that last one on the end. Now, it gives me perfect purchase. The jimping is purposeful, but not, you know, not sore. Really is. The access lock is just the access lock. You know, it really is just harder to do behind the camera but it is just a very simple mechanism which is gives you plenty of ways to fidget so the things i like about this one the grip i just now they call it the mini grip the old mini grip had lots of, of jimping everywhere this has it here on the the spine and you can see that little ramp which is perfect for giving you a complete purchase here it is just in the texture g10 and in the the liners and then on the base of it, you have just this little bit here, which does give you a great, you know, it is a mini grip. It grips you in. It's never going to leave your hand. To me, it's a really brilliant work knife in whatever conditions you're working in. But that blue, isn't that just beautiful? The grey and the blue, the, the standoffs down there, the three standoffs and the blue liners, absolutely gorgeous looking. It just takes us to a new level. And even at the front, you can see the liners are blue all the way around it really does give it a lovely lovely outline so I, I as far as the function of the knife goes i'm probably just saying what every other person has said this knife works and that's what it does it works now this version of it is very expensive i think it's very expensive but you pay for what you got. I got this in the secondary market, or should I say my friend Jonas in Sweden got it. Uh, Estee Norman on uh, Instagrams. He got two for, one, two for himself and then sold me one of them, which was really nice. And he just sold me what he paid for. So that was really lovely. So I got it at a very, very reasonable price. Um, otherwise, it was probably out of my price range for what the knife is. For what the knife is. I love the fact that I've got it now, the price I got it at. 
Um, the Blade Twenty CV. I know there's a lot of controversy controversy out there about blade steels and how good they are. But look, to be honest with you, this lasts forever in my life. Do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, when I finished, I strop it. It comes straight back on a strop. There is absolutely no problem with stropping this knife. I'm just going to move that down. Um, did you see my new Paddy Potato Peelers uh, cards, which will be going out? Uh, every time I send something out as a prize, that's what you'll get with it. Sidelined again. Yes, this knife, the 20CV. Look, apparently it's run soft, too soft for what it is. So you're not getting that that life with it. Well, look, oh, how do I put this? Sometimes you can get maybe too involved. I agree if a maker makes something, they should make it to the best of their ability. Apparently, there's quite a few of that, the high-end steels, are not taking them up to the right Rockwell hardness. And that's not right. It's just not right. But I bought the knife. There's, you know, what, it's like crying over spilt milk. You, you just can't do it. I bought the knife. I like the steel for sharpening. It's easy to sharpen. It takes a wicked edge. A wicked edge. So I just have to lump it. That's what this is. The next time I'll maybe be more careful. I'll find out what the Rockwell hardness is. And that's where these boys, you know, the Outpost 76, um, Blade Banter, all these ones that are doing the test in Super Steel Steve, um, love them knives. They're, they're doing the testing so that we're more informed. I didn't check before I bought it because I knew I wanted the knife. Does that make me... A careless owner, probably, but I just like the knife. I like the price I got it for. And to be honest, for my everyday use, it's perfect. I love it. So I'll leave it there. Now, let's look at the blade. Benchmade always finish their blades lovely. You have the satin finish here on the, on the blade itself. But look at the grind lines they leave in there. Oh, let me get that and let it focus a bit. Come on, focus knife. Not going to focus for me. Let me just, I know what I'll do. There you go. <laughs> so look at them grind lines in that top. Isn't that just stunning? I think it's lovely. And even on the top of the blade, if you look at the top of Benchmade's, look the way they leave the top of that blade. Isn't that just beautiful? Down to a tip that's a proper working tip. It's not delicate at all. It'll take on any job that you want for it. So... I just highly recommend this if you haven't got now I don't care whether you get this one or you get the 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 Groovery handled one with is it S30V now I think it is so I, I love S30V anyway to me the knife itself is the the joy there's a reason why it's lasted so long it fits in the hand lovely and even if you were only to get a three finger grip you know, if you have big hands and you only get a three finger this wraps around here fine and you have a perfect you're not going anywhere but i can get most of mine i'm medium large hand so i'm absolutely fine but my pinch grip it's just a wee gem for any use and i not if you're going to be working all day long with it but for most of us it's only edc tasks i keep saying that because it is the truth that most of us that have nice it mostly is just edt even if it's work it's just cutting cardboard boxes do you know what i mean there's, there's very few of us are now working on the site with the tools uh, you know and but there we go. Another story. Another story. I highly recommend this. Um, do I think the full price for this is? Not over in the UK. It's too dear over here in the UK to buy it on the, this model, the 20CV model. I think it's too dear. But I know it's a lot cheaper in the States. So, you know, yes, my answer is yes, buy it. If that's what you like. If you don't like Grivery, again, the Grivery wouldn't bother me um, at all because I do like the bug out. And that's sort of the first one. I'll give you a, a size comparison. There's the bug out, um, which, you know, blade length, it's not that far off. They're, they're pretty similar. And th that's grivery handle, like I believe the old scales were. It wouldn't bother me in the slightest, you know. As long as I can hold on to the knife and cut things, that's what I want. These are not, I don't believe these are show knives. Um, I, even this one at the price it is I don't believe it's a show knife I believe it's a work knife it's meant for working it's meant for doing tasks not something I'd want just sitting about and not doing tasks with and here's another knife which is a smaller knife is the Ganzo now it is a wee bit bigger than them but the blade length on that is something very similar the cutting length is the same 
as a mini grip but look how much extra handle they had to use to get their knife done the mini grip because of its sturdy nature is just as good a grip as this so and to finish off with here's another wee one that we don't see too much of now this is the wee sam ramu with the axis lock an absolute gem of a little knife and it's a wee bit smaller but if you want a little knife with now this is a great cutter this is a hollow grind so we San Remy, what number is it let me get you the number it's the 7063 uh this is Nate CR 13 i believe um aluminium handle this is just a great wee mini grip sort of knife from San Remy. again i can get most of my hand on there um, but again, small knife, I'll use that. It's a hollow ground, comes down to a thin edge, great cutter, and the axis lock on it is absolutely spot on. Spot on. So, there's an option for, if you haven't got the money for a mini grip, I really recommend that one there. I'll put the details for that um, down below. I'll put the name of it, and you can go and find whatever site you buy your knives on, usually Chinese sites that sell the SRM. So, I'll put the name of it down, and you can go and have a look. So there's, there's a comparison. I would say that if, you know, if I didn't have one of these, I would have missed out on uh, one of Benchmade's best made knives. The 940 is the, the renowned one. This is very close behind it, the mini grip. Um, just a stellar little knife that can do so much work and it's sturdy enough. I mean, I can't think of anything I'd be frightened to do with this. I mean, I've used it to cut wood, just, uh, to trim uh, steaks, anything. I've used it for lots of things. So uh, I've no fear at all on the knife, the blade steel. The fact that it's maybe not run hard wouldn't affect me as much as maybe those who would be more, um, if that would mean much to I, I just pass that by most of the times. As long as it lasts all day and I can sharpen it at the end of the night, I'm, I'm quite happy. And I can with this. So with, with no hesitation, if you can afford it, by all means get the at the 20 CV because I think it's a beautiful knife. I think it really looks outstanding. Um, and if you can't, you've got the mini grip, which is, you know, a reasonably priced knife with S30V on it. I, Grivery G10, they're both plastic. So, um, I just recommend the knife, the mini grip, whatever iteration you get, I recommend it. But if you can't afford it, if you're a budget, you know, if you're in the in the budget realm, like I was most of the time, this is a great option, this little Sandra Moo 7063. So there you go, that's a review. Highly recommended. Um, and it's on to the next one. Take care of yourselves. I'm away for a wee cup of tea. Have a nice day. Bye now.